mental issues for us, some emotional issues for us, and possibly some psychological issues for us as well. So I encourage you um, to make self-care a priority for yourself by trying out some of these tips that I have been sharing um, throughout this month. If you'd like to get all of the tips in one, uh, I've created a free printable, which you can get from my website, mindfuledgesolutions.com, and you can get that free printable. Um, it'll uh, have a pop-up once you get to my website, and it'll uh, tell you how you can get that, okay? So um, today is day 27, and today's tip is to watch a TED Talk. Now, I don't know how everyone feels about TED Talks. Um, if you feel like they're boring, um, they're a waste of time, they really aren't. Um, either one of those things. They tend to be very, um, uh, very encouraging. They tend to be um, helpful. They tend to be not really boring. It may depend on the speaker, right? But there are so many TED Talks out there and so many different people that actually are very engaging. Um, and so I want to share with you a few benefits uh, to our mental health um, um, of watching a TED Talk. So first benefit is, obviously, a TED Talk can be very educational right? You can learn something new. And that was one of the tips that I shared earlier in this month uh, was to learn something new. Um, so learning something new can help boost your confidence. It can help boost your self-esteem. Um, it can help increase positive thinking, positive thoughts, which will lead to positive feelings um, and potentially better behaviors, right? And it can help us to help others if that's what you want to do, right? So um, TED Talks can be very educational, and that by itself can uh, promote a lot of great benefits for us in our mental health, um, mainly, you know, boosting our confidence and helping us to feel better about ourselves and to think more positively about ourselves, um, others, and the world around us. TED Talks can also be funny. Like I said, every speaker is different. They're completely different people. Um, hundreds of people have done TED Talks, and some of them are actually quite funny. Uh, as I was uh, looking up information uh, for this today, I saw someone shared about a TED Talk. Uh, oh, I don't remember who it is. Um, but the TED Talk was really just some funny story about how this person chose to randomly respond to an email every day. And um, it was just hilarious from the person that watched it. It was just hilarious hearing him share his story. Um, and so that one was really funny. While other ones, the speaker might be really funny or they might include comedy in it. Um, and so that allows our brain to break, you know, especially if we're very serious, if we're, you know, um, very committed to, you know, focusing just on our work throughout the day. Um, I'm here to remind you that your brain needs a break and sleep isn't always enough to give your brain a, a break because we tend to work it so hard throughout the day. So watching something funny like a TED Talk, which could be funny, um, pro provides a brain break. It allows your brain to rest from the um, duties of the day, from the work of the day. It can help you to de-stress. Um, when we watch something funny, it actually increases hormones that help us to feel less stressed. Um, it can be a distraction from the stressors of the day, from life, from work, whatever. Um, it can be an emotional release. Um, I don't know if all of you have experienced this, but anytime you have felt very sad or very angry, um, just in a very negative mood, and you kind of just feel like, blah, kind of feel like something's like weighing you down in some form or fashion, um, feeling very unmotivated. Um, maybe you have experienced and noticed that if you get around someone that helps to make you laugh and you actually like they actually help you to make you laugh, whether it's a movie, a TV show, um, a meme or a friend or, you know, some stranger that might have done something that made you laugh when you were feeling down like that, that you felt a release from that pressure that you were feeling that mental load of feeling down, depressed, sad, discouraged, hopeless about something in life that for that moment you felt that release. And sometimes you can feel that release a little bit longer after laughing and having a good time, right? Um, and so it actually can promote um, an, an emotional release that sometimes we need. When we get stuck in the, that negative thinking and feeling in our lives, it can feel hopeless. It can feel like it can never change. Um, but when you find something that can help you step out of that and laugh, 
it will create a release for you, which will actually help you to feel a little bit better. It won't change the situation. It won't change the scenario or the events or the people that might have hurt, hurt you or harmed you, but it will help you to feel better. And I've shared with my clients before um, that our negative emotions are like lava. And when we ignore them, try to avoid them, act like they're not there, it's like us pushing down on the lava in a volcano, which is ultimately just going to create more pressure. Um, and eventually the volcano is going to erupt, right? That's not what we want. But if you were able to poke holes in a volcano, you allow the pressure to come out in multiple places, which helps to decrease a lot of that pressure. As opposed to a volcano, everything can only go in and out at the top, right? So all that pressure builds up, builds up, builds up until it can be released as opposed to allowing it to be released in little moments throughout our day, throughout our life. Um, and so watching something funny, watching something educational, stepping away from the thing that's stressing us actually allows us to have that release. And that is a form of self-care. Um, it also exercises our diaphragm, our abs, and sometimes our shoulders, depending on how, we're, how much we're laughing or you know, how our body reacts when we laugh. It exercises those different parts of our body, um, which then will help our muscles to be more relaxed. And I don't know if you've ever heard of like a muscle relaxation exercise, um, but it helps you to kind of tense your muscles up for a few seconds and then you release them. And you ultimately will notice that your muscles will feel less tense when you do that. And so laughing can also be a way of releasing that tension um, that you feel in some part of your body, in your muscles. Um, and watching something funny, watching a TED Talk that can be funny, um, can help change our perspective. It gives us a more lighthearted perspective on things. Um, and it can help us to view our stressful events that we're distracting ourselves from. It can help us to view them as a challenge that can be conquered, that is less threatening, and that we can view it in a more positive way. It's something about getting out of your head for just a moment can help change your perspective and change the way you're dealing with that thing if you allow yourself to do that instead of choosing to stay there or not choosing to find a way to get out of it um, it's helpful to be able to step away from the stressors in our life because it actually will not only help us to feel better if not just for that moment it will also help us to better deal with and handle that stressful situation in our lives another benefit to watching a ted talk is that it can be inspiring and motivating which i think most people already know about a ted talk but just in case you didn't um, it can be very inspiring and motivating um, and if you're not clear as to what a TED Talk is, if you've never even heard of that term, TED Talk is usually um, fairly short um, speech that some person gives. Sometimes it's a celebrity, but most of the time it's maybe an expert in their field or um, I'm not quite sure how you become a TED Talk speaker. I'm going to look that up. Um, but they, they tend to be able to give you a different perspective. They give you something educational. They give you maybe they just share a motivating story, like something about how they overcame something. Um, every TED Talk is different, and there's thousands of them. Um, and you can find them on YouTube. Um, so it's usually just people um, talking about some topic. And so you can you know find TED Talks on a multitude of topics. Um, if you do some research. So um, a TED Talk can be inspiring and motivating. Um, it can motivate you or inspire you to take action, to make change somewhere in your life, to think or be different in some positive way, um, to speak yourself. You might be inspired by watching and listening to these TED Talks to actually maybe do your own TED Talk. Maybe you do the research and find out what it takes to apply to do a TED Talk. Um, we both might be surprised. It might be something that you can pretty fairly um, easily apply for um, and see if maybe you can do it yourself. Or maybe it might inspire you to speak like I am on social media, you know, put out some information that you think might be helpful for other people in the form of a video or text um, image or something like that, uh, creating an account. It could inspire you, motivate you to do something like that. Um, 
it might in, inspire you to just share your story, whether it's with a friend or with a stranger or in some way that could be helpful for another person. Um, but it could also inspire and motivate you to do something different, to get out of the rut of the mundane day to day of your life. Um, and then finally, another benefit is that TED Talks can offer some great advice. Um, so that can help you to solve some type of problem in your life, uh, to think creatively, and to possibly think outside of the box. So those are one, two, three, four benefits to watching a TED Talk that maybe you didn't know about before, maybe you didn't think about. So here's some tips to help you if you're going to choose to uh, possibly use this as a self-care activity for yourself. Excuse me. One is to do a search. So like I said, you can find these TED Talks on YouTube, excuse me, if not in full, um, at least in part. But I think they're all, um, I think they're all free on YouTube, in all honesty. So you can do a Google search or go straight to YouTube and do a search. Um, I would say, you know, you could start with top 10 blank TED Talks. So if there's a specific topic that you want to hear about, um, let's say the top 10 um, inspiring TED Talks, the top 10 motivating TED Talks, the top 10 TED Talks about being happy, about depression, top 10 TED Talks, whatever, whatever you want to put in the blank. Do a search would be a good way to start, especially if you've never watched a TED Talk um, or don't really know um, which one you might want to watch. Another tip might be to search for a TED Talk, a TED Talk by a person that you already know and you like, someone that you already find to be motivating and encouraging. So if you don't know if they do a TED Talk, you can do a Google search and say, you know, TED Talks by Joel Olstein or TED Talks by uh, whoever. Um, so, um, so far I've, I've seen there's a TED Talk from Adam Driver. If you don't know him, he is the actor that plays Kylo Ren in the new Star Wars movies. Um, if I'm not a Star Wars fan, that's fine. There, there's another um, person, Brene Brown, which um, I think I'm thinking a lot more people are becoming more aware of. Um, she is, I think she has a doctorate um, in social work. And she, um, she shares about shame, uh, as well as other things that tend to get in our way. She's got a really inspiring um, motivational TED Talk. Um, but you can look up other people. Um, you can see, you know, I don't know, maybe Michelle Obama has done one. Um, but you can look up to see if someone famous that you already like and love and find to be encouraging, inspiring, or funny might have already done a TED Talk. Um, another tip would be to set aside some time to watch them without distraction so you can get everything you can out of that TED Talk. Um, I would also encourage you, you know, if you find it motivating and encouraging, to save it somewhere. Um, and watch it again. Um, I've learned years ago, um, and I think it really applies to a lot of things in our life, that um, when you read a book, you don't get everything out of it the first time you read it. That um, there is some science, some research that has found that you have to read a book seven times in order to get everything or mostly everything out of that book. Um, I think some of that's because, you know, you could be in a different stage of life the next time you read it. But also when you're reading it, you're kind of just gathering the information. And so the next time you read it, um, you may, you know, see some things or hear some things that you didn't before. Well, same thing for a TED Talk. You may hear, miss some things that first time you watched it. So watch it again, especially if you found it helpful for you in some way. Another tip is to take notes. Um, if you find it helpful, motivating, you're like, oh, that was a really good quote or that's a really good way of looking at looking at something. Take notes, write those things down so that you don't forget them so that when you need that encouragement again, you don't have to try to remember, OK, which TED Talk was that? OK, where was it? Because that TED Talk was about an hour um, and not all of them are an hour, but uh, trying to find out where it was again and trying to get it again might take up more time, might cause more stress. And that's not what we're doing, right? We're trying to be stressless, <laughs> to de-stress um, and to take care of yourself. So that's one way of doing that is to take notes. You might, um, you might make a journal or buy a journal and have it dedicated to just your favorite quotes. It makes it a little easier to find the things that you love. Um, so take the notes because uh, you might want to use those notes later and share the TED Talk with others, or maybe share your notes or that quote, you know, post it on social media in your stories or on your page um, it, as just text. You don't have to get all fancy and make an image unless you want to. 
right? But um, maybe share that information with other people. You know, if it helped you, it most likely will help someone else. So I hope that this has helped you uh, to think outside of the box when it comes to self-care, to maybe try something different, something new. And hopefully today, um, to, today's tip of watching a TED Talk will inspire you to watch a TED Talk. So I will share in the description of my videos um, maybe a few uh, TED Talks or maybe a place where you can find a list of some TED Talks that might be um, helpful to you. Uh, maybe some ones that I've seen that I've enjoyed. I will share that with you in the description of the videos on YouTube uh, and on Facebook. Um, and I'll have to go back in and edit um, Instagram and put them there. Or I might put them in my bio. So again, I hope this was helpful for you. I encourage you to make self-care a priority for you because it's going to help your mental health, not only in the long term, but also in the short term. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If it has not started well, if your week has not started well, it is not the end. Look for a turnaround in your day and in your week. Look for something to get better. Look for something to be thankful for. Um, and as always, I encourage you to stay mindful. Have a great week, and I will see you tomorrow. And today, tomorrow, um, day 28, is the benefits, uh, mental health benefits of going to your favorite store. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.